This is literally the download RAM meme coming to life. And if you're like me and get a mild heart attack every time you check the new DDR5 prices, then this trick might be your lifeline in these, let's call them expensive times. It's been years since I made a tech tips video mostly focusing on product reviews nowadays, but after seeing that RAM prices have literally tripled since Micron killed off the crucial brand, I have a clear conscience saying I will not pay 435 euros for a basic 32 gig kit. But as you can see from my timeline, I desperately need an upgrade. I did some digging and found a simple trick that turns the RAM usage from this to this. Now, the difference you're seeing isn't a hardware upgrade, different settings in DaVinci Resolve, and it's also not magic. In both versions, I have the exact same RAM kit with exact same project running. But to turn the crash-prone version into the smooth version, we just need to download more RAM memory. As you can tell by my over-enthusiastic and hilarious tone, I'm just joking. We aren't downloading it, we are creating it from our drive. Some of us dinosaurs might remember the old Ready Boost trick where you use the USB stick as a RAM extension. This is something similar to that, with the difference being that this method is actually effective and here's exactly how to do it. First, go to your start menu and search for View Advanced System Settings. Click on the Advanced tab and under Performance, click on Settings, go to the Advanced tab again and click on Change. Uncheck where it says Automatically Manage Paging File Size. Select your fastest drive. In my case, I select the C drive, which is a Samsung 980 Pro. After that, check the custom size and set the initial size to 32 gigs and the maximum size to 64 gigs. Click Set, then OK and restart the PC. Once you restart, you'll see the magic happen. My RAM usage dropped from around 25 gigs down to 12 or 13 gigs. Why? Well, for two reasons. First is the offloading effect. Before this, Windows was scared to move data out of RAM because it had nowhere to put it. So it kept every old Chrome tab and background service clogging up the actual memory stick. By giving it this massive 64 GB tank, Windows has now the permission to be aggressive. It immediately flushes all that stale junk onto the SSD, leaving the actual physical RAM memory wide open for the heavy lifting. Second reason is the NVMe factor. In the old days, moving data to a drive was a death sentence, but with a fast Gen 4 drive, the transfer is so instant you don't even feel it. Now, a very important note before you jump into the comments to correct me. The better the drive, the more success you will have with this. The sad reality is that if you have an old mechanical HDD or even a standard 3.5 inch SSD, I would not recommend trying this. It will just make things stutter. If you have a cheap low speed NVMe with no DRAM, it might work. But you should only try it if you really desperately need the extra RAM. But where this trick will absolutely not fail, where it gives you excellent results, is if you have a beefy high speed Gen 4 or Gen 5 NVMe. To keep it precise, here is a list of drive types and speeds that will or will not work. I did this a few days ago and I am genuinely pleased with the results. It means I don't have to burn cash on overpriced RAM right now and I can save that budget for replacing my 4070 Super with a 5070 Ti because with Nvidia's news for next year, who knows what those prices will look like. Thanks for watching and I hope this method will help you survive the RAM apocalypse. It was fun getting back into tips and tricks for a short while. Cheers!